newspaper and other newspapers, we were printing critical stuff. And you should be around to see the kind of threats people who were writing this stuff were receiving. We were getting massive phone calls uh, from various people protesting, etc. Of course, now this is not very innocent. This was organized, actually. They, they, I, I think the pro Serb lobby in Greece was extremely well organized and they managed immediately to isolate and terrorize the journalist. Because you see, the point is by the point you have received 10 phone calls a day threatening your life about what you wrote about Karajic. Well, I mean, you're somehow discouraged. You also feel responsible if your newspaper, the circulation goes down, then everybody in the paper looks critically at you. You, 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 you. you are in bad terms with your colleagues. So you have to start thinking about it. I mean, it's not an ego trip any longer. Slobodan Milosevic vond in Griekenland een warm nest. Hij financierde. Hij financierde zijn oorlogsmachine door een geraffineerd netwerk van postbusbedrijven op Cyprus met geheime rekeningen bij Griekse banken. Dit wordt bevestigd door een onderzoeksrapport van het Joegoslavië tribunaal in Den Haag. Throughout this period, many times people had asked questions about these accounts, especially the foreign press, and the Greek government kept consistently denying it that those accounts exist. Mind you, we're talking about 250 accounts. Even after the change now, I mean, under the present government, the authorities, I'm not saying necessarily the Prime Minister, but the authorities, the state, did everything in its power to obstruct the War Crimes Tribunal in its investigation. They delayed. I, I remember Del Ponte came here, Carlo Del Ponte, a couple of times to press the Greek authorities to do something about it. The Greek judges who were supposed to investigate it, the famous one, said that I'm not going to become a detective for Carlo Del Ponte. I mean, can you imagine any other European country where a leading investigating judge would behave with such disrespect to the war crimes tribunal? Op naar het Griekse parlement, want we hebben hoop vragen voor de huidige Griekse politiek. We willen ze voorleggen aan de toenmalige minister van Buitenlandse Zaken, Theodoros Pangolos. In ons verzoek voor een interview stellen we dat we met de oud-minister willen spreken over het komende Griekse voorzitterschap, over de verschillen tussen Griekenland en de rest van Europa en over de rol van Griekenland in de Joegoslavische oorlog. Maar dit laatste is niet tot de voormalige minister doorgedrongen. Ik ben Ingeborg Beugel, Dutch Television. Maintenant, nous aurions euh, notre commission euh, parlementaire euh, en ce qui concerne le drame en Srebrenica. Et dans je n'aimerais le... pas à discuter de la Yougoslavie. Vous savez, j'ai accepté votre invitation parce que je pensais que nous allions parler de la présidence grecque. Vous me parlez de la Yougoslavie. C'est une question intéressante qui a occupé un certain parti de mon passé, n'est-ce pas euh, J'essaie de l'oublier, comme tous les hommes de bonne volonté, c'est d'oublier les horribles choses qui se sont déroulées d'un côté comme de l'autre. Et je ne veux pas parler de ça, ça ne m'intéresse plus. Si, si on, pas... on, on ne fait pas des investi investigations, on ne saura jamais la vérité. Dans le rapport MIOD, on parle par exemple des mercenaires allez, grecs. Est-ce que la politique allez, grecque... Allez en Yougoslavie faire des investigations. Donc je ne vais pas continuer sur cette question, si vous me permettez. Je considère que la... vos questions jusqu'à présent sont un piège. Mais vous m'avez promis de parler d'autre chose et vous me parlez de choses qui ne m'intéressent absolument pas et pour lesquelles je n'aurais jamais accepté de vous donner une interview. A very central part of the European culture is the ability to look critically on your past. It's very central. Look here, when Clinton came to Greece, the first thing he said was, I'm sorry about the fact that my country supported the military junta. That was a Western thing to do. I haven't heard one Greek politician who has expressed his sorrow and remorse to the Bosnian Muslims for what, for the positions which Greece adopted during that period. And I have asked politicians, I have confronted them with the questions, and even the most progressive of them, even the politicians who in private will give you 100% right that the, the, the position, the policies of Greece were despicable, today will not dare utter in public an apology. Bien, merci beaucoup. Okay.
À la prochaine. À la prochaine. Au revoir, alors. C'est dommage. Ouais. Oh, C'est très dommage. You will not find a single Greek mainstream politician who will say today good things about Milosevic. They will not stand up and condemn him, no. They will not stand up and condemn Karadzic and Vladic. They will not talk about the crimes. But at least you will not hear positive things. You consider that a step forward? Uh, yes, from the point of view of Greece, not from the point of view of a country like Denmark, Holland, etc. No, but from the point of view of Greece, it's a big step forward. Au revoir. Au revoir, Monsieur Pangalos.